Big vote in the House of Representatives, yes sir, 229 to 191, approving a civil contempt measure to enforce subpoenas issued for Attorney General William Barr and former White House Counsel Don McGahn. You've got to admire the kind of leadership uh, that produces this kind of activity in the House. Speaking of Speaker Nancy Pelosi, she admitted House Democrats are nowhere near being able to impeach anybody. No. If a majority of your Some caucus, if a majority of your caucus wants to go forward with an impeachment inquiry, would you go for it? That's not, it's not even close in our caucus. About but eventually, that. But because, well, you know, what, why are we speculating on hypotheticals? She got a little tired of talking uh, about Donald Trump after a while and let uh, let him know it. The Justice Department pushing back at the radical Dems who were gloating for a whole day over the Mueller report deal. A source telling Fox News that, quote, this isn't a blank check. The DOJ indicates it will not allow House Judiciary Committee Chairman Gerald Nadler to see whatever documents he wants. No, that's not the deal at all. And joining us now, Harmeet Dillon, Vice President of the Republican National Lawyers Association, RNC Committee Woman for California, a member now of the 2020 Trump Advisory Council. My goodness, your honorifics grow and grow, as does your introduction. Great to see you, as always. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. The Thank House, you. the House vote today uh, to proceed with, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, can you tell me in very quick order what that vote was all about and why it was even necessary or are they just trying to play at something no it wasn't necessary at all lou this is a fairly toothless uh gesture by the house to show their contempt for the rule of law and for the american people by continuing this russia investigation and Mueller investigation charade i mean this is really jerry nadler kind of looking at the disemboweled entrails of this Mueller investigation and seeing what he can salvage from it it's a quite a pathetic spectacle but uh, the attorney general has struck the right tone with these people is going to give them a little bit of information if they yeah. want it although it's not their job to see it but he's not going to stand for a fishing expedition and that's right Let, let's listen to uh uh, Congressman Ratcliffe on the, uh, on these documents and what th this clever deal that Nadler is uh, bragging about. Here's Ratcliffe's uh, assessment. The key evidence uh, that uh, Jerry Nadler talked about yesterday is the same evidence that the Department of Justice uh, has been offering to Democrats for some time now. You know, I'm glad that Jerry Nadler's happy and he's finally submitted to the accommodation process the way it's supposed to work. But he overplayed his hand on these uh, subpoenas against Bill Barr, and uh, and now he's looking for an off ramp, and he got one yesterday. Uh, you agree? This is exactly right. The attorney general is barred by law from sharing all of the underlying information that the Mueller investigation looked at because some of it is protected by statute and by court rules. So, um, you know, finally, Jerry Nadler is the one who came to the table and faced reality. And I don't think this is going to amount to anything other than more distraction and less of the Americans people were getting done by this Congress, Lou. You know, uh, I, I have to say that the the, what I'm watching right now on the part of the radical Dems, Nadler, uh, you know, the, all of the, the usual crowd shift in the intelligence, uh, it's disgusting, it's appalling, and it's absurd. Uh, the Mueller reports in, as the president put it, straightforwardly, succinctly, case closed. And yet the Republicans continue not to create a countervailing influence in the Senate against the, uh, the ignorance of the, the Dems in the House. Uh, and Lindsey Graham is doing nothing with the Senate Judiciary Committee, at least that is uh, apparent. Uh, why in the world can't the Republicans defend this president in this nonsense and focus, create a, a conference-wide focus, whether in the Senate or the House, on everything this president is achieving and, and stop the ignorance and stop it now? Well, I do think that the Judiciary Committee in the Senate has actually done a really great job with one thing, which is the uh, judges that they're getting through. That's really important, Lou, and it can't be underestimated. And I think yesterday in the House, uh, the Republicans on that committee did an excellent job showing what a ridiculous spectacle it was to bring mm -hmm. uh, John Dean there to testify. And so I, th I do think that we see quite a few of them standing up and doing a good job. People were stunned at how great the president uh, handled that Mexico situation with the tariffs. And I think that's actually bringing some people you around. You say they were stunned? Admiration. Wait a minute. Wait, they you're were saying stunned. people are stunned? 
They have they stunned. been watching what this president has done against all odds for two and a half years? Why would they be stunned, Armin? You, you and I are not stunned, and neither are supporters of the president, but some of those naysaying Republicans who say uh, no tariffs uh, on their the hearts, Get them the hell so, out of Washington. <laughs> Why, yeah. you, you promise you're going to do that with the, with the RNC? Get rid of them. Just, will you promise? Well, just between we, you and me. I won't mention it to a person. <laughs> just between you and me and, 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 your, and your audience, um, we could use some fresh blood in Congress all around. So I definitely would work towards that. Uh, Harmony, uh, let, let's go to, uh, to, the, to something I think that is really critically important. William Barr, and uh, he, he, now it turns out that the inspector general uh, is not going to be producing that report uh, on anything even approaching a, a, a late basis. It's going to be a very late uh, report, uh, and I don't understand why that's being tolerated. I am so sick of a Justice Department that moves at a glacial pace uh, when this should be about uh, efficiency and a new, productive, energetic uh, era in the Justice Department, getting rid of political corruption and those who uh, fomented it uh, and indeed led it. Uh, your thoughts about why we can't get anything moving quickly anymore in that department? It go, okay, truth so the, goes there to die. The explanation for that is that the whole idea of relying on an inspector general to make change is a fallacy. The inspector general is akin to the murder board or the medical board in the hospital where the patient is already dead. So it's kind of a post-mortem analysis. That's that, not really going to move the, the ball The patient, forward, I assume, is your analog for truth. <laughs> uh, the, and, and, and our democracy and justice. But... Uh, I, th I think the U.S. attorney, Huber, has actually been given a lot of resources, office in the DOJ, and I think he is going to be moving forward and naming names. And he actually has the power and the ability to do that. And I think that that's really going to be the more promising outcome for investigating the investigators and how did we get to this point where we wasted so much time and undercut the president's ability to advance his agenda. I, I do think it's important. And I do think that we're going to see that happen, Lou. And I notice you didn't give me a rate and a date. Uh, we hope it will be sooner, not later. Armie, Absolutely. Always good to talk with you. Armie Dillon, thanks. Thank you, Lou. Up next, Rhino Justin 